friends, are you ready for story time? Today we are reading The Three Cups by Indiana author Tony Townsley. On my fifth birthday, my parents gave me a wonderful present. They promised it would take me on many adventures. These three cups are from our cupboard, I said. Is this my present? There's more, my mother explained. Look inside the envelope. We think it's time you started getting a weekly allowance, my father told me. And every year, it will grow bigger, just like you will. Every week, we will help you divide your allowance among the three cups, mother said. One cup is for savings, one cup is for spending, and one cup is for giving. After we discussed how to divide the money and put it in the cups, we put them in my room. But what about the adventure? I asked. They'll come, my father promised. Every Saturday, week after week, I got excited when it was time to put my allowance into the three cups. Every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I forgot all about the money. One day, my mother said, it looks like your cups are filling up. Let's see how much you have. She helped me count. I was surprised at how much there was, especially in my savings cup. I have an idea, mother said. Let's take a trip to the bank. You're rich, said my sister. I think I want to keep saving my allowance in the cups, I told my mother. You can do that, she said. But let's ask Mr. Duncan how the bank can help you save even more. Mr. Duncan was the president of the bank. He told me he could keep my money safe and make it grow. I asked him how. He said that when I put my money in his bank, it would be called a deposit. It would be placed in my very own savings account, which would hold my money for me, just like my savings cup did. Best of all, Mr. Duncan said that the bank would pay me to keep my money there. The money the bank pays is called interest. He explained to me how it works. Interest sounds interesting to me. After I deposited the money from my savings cup, Mr. Duncan gave me a lollipop. I asked for one for my sister too. Is this the adventure? I asked mother. It's just the beginning. Do you know how much money you have in your spending cup? She asked. After we got home from the bank, I counted the money in my spending cup. I wanted to buy a new baseball glove, but I knew I hadn't saved enough yet. Do you really want that glove, mother asked? I do, I told her. Mother said if I just saved my money for a little while longer, I'd have enough to buy it. You could buy a doll instead, my sister said. So I waited for one week, then two, then three. By then, I had more than enough to buy my new baseball glove. I bought my sister a present with the money left over. This is an adventure, I told my mother and father. It's not over yet, father said. What about your giving cup? I was supposed to use my giving cup to help others, but there were so many people who needed help, and my giving cup was so small. I went to my parents and asked them what I could do. A hundred things, father said. A hundred times a hundred things, mother told me. I remembered that my school was collecting food for needy families. I asked my mother if I could go with her to the grocery store. With the money from the giving cup, I bought eight cans of soup. When I brought them to my teacher, Ms. Phillips, she asked me if I would like to deliver all the food our school collected. The families we helped were happy to receive our gifts. Helping them made me feel happy too. That night, my father asked which cup was my favorite. My spending cup, I said. No, my savings cup. But my giving cup makes me feel good too. Saving, spending, and giving, father told me. Do all three things as you keep growing up. That's the adventure. The weeks went by. Every week, I divided my allowance into my three cups. The years went by. Every year, my allowance grew. When I got my first job mowing the neighbor's yard, I also put money I made into my three cups. 
By the time I was in high school, I had bought many things from the money in my spending cup. With the money from my giving cup, I gave to my church and other organizations and I helped many people. And when I graduated from high school, I used the money from my savings account at the bank to help pay for college I went to. I packed my three cups to take with me. Can you find the three cups? Today, my own son turned five years old. Happy birthday, I said. Are you ready for an adventure? What do you think he got? Three cups? Do you think you would like saving your money in three cups?